250 Gemstones culture represents a nation of people that strive for excellence and greatness every single day. We are more than journalism. We are a revolution. Come on, come on, let's kick this door down and let everybody know we up in here. Welcome to the 250 Gemstones News TV channel. I am your host, Michael T. Porter, and I'm bringing the news to your ass like no other. But before I begin, y'all hit that like button, subscribe button, that share button, hit that notification bell so you know when I am dropping. Also, check out my Spotify podcast, the 250 Gemstones Culture Podcast. Link is in the description. And if you would like to support the channel, Cash App, Dollar Sign, Michael US, y'all know how I feel about my chising. Let's get into it. Out here in Dallas, shout out Mother F in Dallas. This scum, lowest of the low society. This man, 21 year old, kills two gas station clerks at two separate locations for lottery tickets and the reason why he did it will blow your damn mind oh i'm gonna go ahead and tell you he tried to get an apartment that's right kill two gas station clerks to get some lottery tickets to pay for an apartment i got a video i want to play for y'all and i'm gonna be right back with you to give you my opinion let's go Police say the man accused of murdering two convenience store clerks admitted to the murders and confessed he didn't give them time to even comply with his demands. Devonta Mathis is charged with murder for killing 60-year-old Mohammed Hussein in Mesquite. And then just a little more than a day later, 32-year-old Jopi Dasari in Dallas. Investigators say he admitted he used a stolen truck and a gun bought illegally to commit the crimes. And police say he did it for lottery tickets. Fox Sports David Centendry is at the Dallas County Jail with new details on the investigation, David. Yeah, according to an arrest warrant affidavit, Devante Mathis showed no remorse while talking with police about those two murders. In fact, he said he wanted to take his own life when he was being chased by police, but he could not find his own gun. What was the motive behind these shootings? It appears just to be straight robbery. According to an arrest affidavit obtained by Fox 4, Devante Mathis admitted to shooting a clerk in the chest last Thursday at a convenience store off West Bruton Road in Mesquite before stealing lottery tickets. Then, days later, shooting and killing another clerk while on the run. I will say this, it was pretty heinous in the sense of neither clerk appears to have been even given the opportunity to comply. Mathis told police he shot the clerk, identified as Muhammad Hussein, because of the way he looked, referring to skin color, and stated he did not think the clerk would have been cooperative. Mathis allegedly told detectives he never told the clerk anything, but when he walked in, the clerk looked at him, so he shot him because he did not want him to run out and call the police. Again, I can't speak to what somebody would or wouldn't have done, but I would assume he would have probably just complied and given the man whatever he wanted. Police say Mathis got away with stolen lottery tickets and he was seen on surveillance cashing them out in Hillsboro, just north of Waco, where he's from. It's very hard to get into someone else's head. We can't really do that and know what they're thinking or why they're doing what they're doing, but certainly the behavior speaks for itself. Mesquite PD says Mathis also admitted to shooting 32-year-old Gopi Krishna Dasari, a clerk at a Fox Fuel in the Pleasant Grove neighborhood of Dallas on Saturday. Dasari died. Less than an hour later, Mathis was arrested after an attempted traffic stop and pursuit in Mesquite. How rare is this type of situation? I would say it's very rare and all the more importance that we get this person off the street. Police say Mathis told detectives he bought the pistol he allegedly used from a man off the streets for $400. He was hoping that the lottery ticket winnings would give him enough money to get an apartment. To me, what that would say is that this is someone who is just truly violent and doesn't have a lot of remorse for what they're doing, or really any for that matter. Mathis is charged with two counts of capital murder as well as a couple other charges. Bond set at seven and a half million dollars right now as he sits in the Dallas County Jail. Would y'all like my opinion? Would y'all like some of this 250 Gemstones news TV commentary? Well, of course you do. That's why your ass is here. This man is obviously on some, some, some type of uh, fentanyl, uh, some type of dope, meth. When, I, when we were little and we were coming up in the gang, Sacramento, where you at? Sat town, baby. Oh, it was gang, gang, dope selling, gang banging, prostitution, 
we were all exposed to this at 13, 14. Let me just break it down to you. It was so out of hand just to give us these little book, these little uh, don't do drugs or drug prevention books, and it educated us on what's what. Now, I believe they educated us because if you're saying, now that I think about it, why did they show us which drugs were which? If the whole overall goal is to never touch drugs, you know, you just say, because the slogan was just say no to drugs. But they gave us a booklet of all the drugs. Mushrooms, uh, LSD, uh, you're talking about weed, you're talking about uh, crack, you're talking about cocaine. They gave us a book. They have very high definition pictures, right? So it's, uh, they had to picture of the drug and it shows you, and it, uh, right next to the picture they have a paragraph or two about the effects this drugs have on the body and brain. So judging by how this fool, this nigga's out there killing folk at the gas station for a lottery ticket to get an apartment, I know he's on drugs because his judgment is distorted. Let me explain to this. Let me explain this to y'all. When you play the lottery, more often than not, you're going to lose. There's a high probability that you're not going to win. Even if you stole a hundred lottery tickets, the probability is you're not going to win. So you need to get an apartment, I guess, in a, uh, within a short amount of time. Okay, cool. But wouldn't it be easier just to get a damn job? Something that's for certain, something that's stable? Because you took two lives, you're going to serve two life sentences over a probability that's not in your favor. There's a very, very, very slim chance that your ass is going to win. Make that make sense. This dude is going to kill two people, throw his life away, get them up out of here. Three people that lost their lives are two clerks and himself, because he's going to be behind bars the rest of his life, over a very slim chance of winning a lottery ticket. And, and let's just say that you do win. It ain't going to be big. He probably going to win $5. Ten dollars, a hundred bucks. This is why I say he has to be on drugs. I don't know if you or a lot. Of, believe it or not, a lot of people uh, that you see walking around, they were they were messed up as a child. There's a lot of child abuse, blows to the head. That could be it too. There's something seriously wrong with this person. Demon time. Maybe he's demon possessed. But if this is true, if if it's outside of childhood trauma, outside of drugs. Outside of demon possession, this man is just freaking retarded. And just by him being this retarded, he got to go. A lottery ticket. A lottery ticket? The goal of the lottery is to get your money, not give the money. This is why most people lose. This is why it's so addicting. It's in hopes that you win. Why didn't you just get two jobs? You could have went down to the mall. You could have worked at a shoe store. They only probably pay about what, thirteen, fourteen dollars, and go work at Wendy's. That's fourteen. If you do full time, now it's gonna be hard, but if you can put in eighty hours a week, sixty to eighty hours a week, you understand what I'm saying? That's a nice chunk of change. That's a thousand dollars a week. You're killing yourself, but you're not in jail. You get a thousand dollars a week working at uh. Uh, let's say Chick-fil-A. Chick-fil-A pay, pay a little bit more. $15. And then the other shoe store, $14. Almost $30 an hour, working two jobs. A little bit over 1000 a week. And you do that for four, that's $4,000. Let's say your rent's twelve. dollars We got a cool little spot, $1,200. Well, nigga, you got $2,800 left. Now, oh, that's weird, but oh, my, my, no, shut the hell up. I know what I'm talking about. You got $2,800 left. And then you put back, you know, let's say you got bills. Let's say after everything, you only got $2,000. $800 goes to insurance, getting yourself together, clothes, food, uh, gas. You got $2,000 left. And if you can just discipline yourself, no girls, no dates, just focus on yourself just to get your bag up. Just to get your bag up, then you can start putting your money to investment, stocks, you can even buy a property. If you, if, if you work it the right way, get your credit up, do it for a year, but it less than a year. You put back $2,000 working at 
full time at Chick Fil A and at the shoe store at the mall. Two thousand dollars times ten months. That's twenty grand. Twenty grand. With, uh, Chick Fil A in the shoe store. Twenty grand. Lifetime in prison, serving two life sentences over lottery tickets. Y'all flood my comments. What do y'all think about this food? 250 capital G. I'm gone.